Hi guys, it's Keith Arkmer Farms. It is about the third week in June 2020 and it's getting really hot out here. Over here in the prop house, prop house high tunnel, and it's really starting to fill out good. We got nice big cucumber plants. We got good cucumbers coming along. It was just harvested out earlier, but can't tell. I got my black cords here, red ones over here, but after that, there's no more on this side. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I tie up my cucumbers. So before I start, I've got my bucket of twine hanging from my ladder. I've got a big old 10 foot ladder behind me, that way I can reach top and bottom. Then I've got on my waist here, I've got my hooks. Pretty simple to make, made them out of landscape staples. And then in the other pocket, I've got my stakes for the bottom. And a set of shears I keep in my pocket open so I can easily access them, put them back in, they stay closed. So let's start tying. So the process is pretty simple. Take a stake, grab my line from my last one, bring it over, make a simple slip knot, make a loop, go around, Grab from your long line, so you're making a knot around the string, pull it halfway tight, slip on your stake, pull it down, and the base is here, so I'm going to go back on the inside because I'm going to lay landscape fabric in here later. Drop my stake, and then we'll go up top. Now that I'm down here at the bottom, I move my ladder after I put that bottom stake in, go down, grab the line from it, bring it up, go on the downward side, the side that's got the slack, not the one I'm pulling up, take it up to my line, give myself an extra couple inches, and then we'll make our cut. Simple shears. You either just squeeze down or pull back, gives you the same cut. Drop the line coming out of the tub. Again, I'm going to do a slip knot, make a loop, go back in and grab the one that's down at the bottom, get your hanger on the line, loop it over the top, pull the tension out so it's pretty good and taut. And then after that, grab your line with a knot in it, pull it up tight. Just like that, you got it hung. Now it's time to wrap it. Now for wrapping, take my cucumber plant, bring it over, try to get it somewhere near the bottom, and then I try to wrap every node or two, pulling the leaves up as I go, because right now they've been on the ground, so they're pretty much everywhere at this point. And I always wrap clockwise. I'm not sure if that's right or not, but that's just the way I do it so I remember. Again, working my way up, trying to go every note or two. When it gets closer up to the top, I'll definitely do every node. And get it wrapped all the way up to the top. Leave the extra up there. And come back down to the bottom with my shears. Cut off any dead leaves, any branches, or anything else that's about six inches off the ground. Then I'll go through and any fruits I see, I'll just go ahead and pinch them now. Because these things are already stressed enough and they need a chance to grow and not to fruit. Don't worry about the tendrils. They really don't do much other than just grow out. Once they really start growing and I get a couple branches off here, I'll start to trim them. I'll show you that here in just a second. So we have a before. After tying up, you can see there's some big branches, fruits, 
and more fruits all the way up to the top and just try to hook the last one around go past a tendril or something and now after trimming still kind of looks like a little bit of a mess but I've removed all the fruits and excess branches leaving the tendrils on there because they really don't matter and it takes too much time to remove them but again I've got a little bit of clear space at the bottom now in 24 hours all the leaves will start to straighten up and turn upwards and they're ready to grow you can see this one's already pushed up that much since I tied it originally. I'll go through about once a week and manage these. So in a matter of about four weeks, you have big, large, full-size cucumbers with fruits on them and the inevitable cucumber beetle. These are all pretty much resistant to cucumber mosaic virus. But I mean, this big one right here has already almost reached the top where I'll umbrella it. That's why these hooks are shaped the way they are. I'll take the vine up and go over the top of that and go down with the main leader, let it start to come down. And when it gets to the ground, it'll send the next couple down. They grow really quickly this time of year. Well, as for pruning and maintaining them, we'll leave that up to another video. But basically at the bottom, I don't know, about up to here, I'll pretty much trim off all the branches. After that, I'll leave one or two fruits, maybe three on a branch. That way I can really increase the yield, but then you get bigger to actually support the more fruit. So, well, I hope you all like what you saw today. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all. Have a good day.